Hi guys. Have you ever thought, how game are you? Really, how game are you? Or how stupid? Because if you play this game, ooh, I'd say, yeah, you're pretty game and maybe a little bit silly. <laughs> All right, I'm going to tell you about this game getting about and it's called the Midnight Game. And I'm going to tell you what you need and step by step how to play it. Now, I'm just going to caution you, don't play it. Please don't play this game. You've been warned, don't play this game. Have I played this game? Personally, myself, I have not played this game. Would I play this game? Hmm. Well, <laughs> moving on. Anyway, you can play this game on your own or you can play it with a bunch of friends. All right. So now to play the midnight game, you are going to need a piece of paper, pencil, a needle, a candle, matches, a door. Yep, that's right. A door and salt. Now you have to really be careful with the rules and listen to them. Now what you're going to do is you're going to write your name on the piece of paper and you need to start this just before say oh, just before 12 a.m. say a minute or so before 12 a.m. So write your full name on the piece of paper. Uh, first name, middle name, last name. You need to prick your finger, placing a drop of your own blood on that paper. You need to go and turn off all the lights, quickly go back to your door and sit down in front of the door. Now pray, place your paper in front of the door. Now get your candle, light it and place the candle on top of your paper with your blood and your name. All right. Now, you need to knock on the door 22 times. Now, remember, the last knock, the 22nd knock, must be striking 12 a.m. on the dot. Then open the door, blow out the candle, then close the door. You have just allowed the midnight man into your home. Immediately relight your candle. The game begins. You must walk around your home in the dark with only your candle, no lights, no torch, all lights off, just the candle, nothing else, that's it. Goal, avoid the midnight man at all costs until exactly 3.33 a.m. Should your candle go out, that would mean that the midnight man is near you or he's close by, not a good thing. You must relight your candle immediately within 10 seconds. You've got 10 seconds to relight, relight your candle. If you can't relight your candle, this is when you're going to need the salt. And you've got 10 seconds to do this. You need to immediately create a circle of salt. Get yourself in that circle of salt. Stay there. Circle of salt, protection, safety. Stay inside the circle of salt until 3.33 a.m. The game is over for you until that time. Okay, if you do get your candle lit, well, then you continue on with the game. Now it said if you don't uh, get inside that circle or create a circle of soul or get your candle lit within the 10 second time frame, the midnight man will make you hallucinate your worst nightmares until 3.33 a.m. over and over again. I mean, how horrifying would that be like, ooh, no thank you. So yeah, really light that candle and if not, get inside. Candle ain't working by two minute seconds. You do, you do in the circle of salt <laughs> and stay there. Don't move. All right. Now, once you've done that, if you're continuing on, um, yeah, you just need to basically avoid the midnight man until 3.33 a.m. So keep walking around in the dark and don't let that candle go out. Now, to win the game, you must not be trapped in your circle of salt or be attacked by the midnight man. Um, and as long as you've relit your candle, you're not attacked. And if you're in the circle of salt, game's over and you're safe. Okay, it said the midnight man will leave at exactly 3.33 a.m. and the game will be over. All right, I just wanted to share where this actual game come from. Now, this midnight game, about midnight man, it's a game, it's not a pagan ritual. Now, it was used for punishment for those who broke the law in the pagan religion. Basically, it was a scare tactic to not disobey the gods. And if you were caught or if somebody dubbed on you for doing so, you would be made as punishment to play the midnight game. Okay, now, so if you like that, guys, uh, give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and drop me a comment if you need to know anything else. And don't play it. Well, if you do, be careful. Have precautions. Yeah, just probably don't play it. <laughs> anyway, I hope you've enjoyed that. And I'll be coming up with another story or some information you may not have known about the witching hour and some other cool stuff. Okay, bye, guys.